are allying with them, including Canada, who is now officially rolling out the Chinese social credit score for Canadian businesses. China has recently banned English exams, limited video game use, and erased several pop stars from history. In an attempt to filter out Western culture, China is cracking down on effeminate men while assembling thousands of ships and millions of troops for war with Taiwan. Just last year, half of the CCP's nuclear scientists mysteriously quit on the same day for personal reasons. And last month, the main news outlet for the CCP published an article blaming the U.S. for biological warfare, blaming capitalism for social degeneracy, and calling for a new communist revolution. The CCP is preparing for war, and several world leaders are working with them. Perhaps this is what the dozens of ghost cities in China are for, all now empty, ready to house hundreds of thousands of people including a city that looks like France. Is this for Macron and his fellow traders to someday feel at home? Maybe. But Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is all in with the communist Chinese. And his government has announced, on a government website, the Chinese social credit score system, how businesses can prepare. It outlines the penalties that Canadians have to look forward to, which include public blaming and shaming, and being blacklisted. The CCP is coming to Canada. With Trudeau, Canada has become the most willing subject of the CCP, with Australia in second place and the rest of the Western world fighting for third. Who will be left to stand up for freedom? For InfoWars.com, this is Greg Reese.